Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let's see some important questions in DDCO subject that is BCS 302 Digital Design and Computer Organization. Coming to module 1, module 1 is consists of digital design that is Boolean algebra, simplification of Boolean expressions using KMAP and also implementation using NAND NOR gates and HDL, introduction to HDL using Verilog. So here the very first question is simplify the boolean function into sum of product form and product of sum form. This, co this question is very very important. You can see digital design or logic design question papers of previous video subjects. This question is always asked. Simplify the boolean expression using k map. So here four variable map is mentioned in the syllabus copy itself. So you will get a four variable k map simplification question. And you may expect to write the Verilog code. So better to learn how to write the Verilog code for the expression. So using KMAP one question will be there for sure. Differences between combinational and sequential circuits. This question also repeatedly asked many times in exams as well as in interviews, VIVAS, everywhere you can see this question. This is very important. Realize function using NAND gate only or NOR gates only. Here basic gate implementation is not so uh, important since in the syllabus copy they have mentioned NOR and NAND implementation. So this is very very important. One question you can expect easily from implementation using NOR gate and NAND gates only. And they may ask why NAND and NOR gates are called universal gates. So such question will be asked. And explain the properties of Boolean algebra. You may get general question like this or specifically to explain some property like De Morgan's theorem or and loss or loss can be asked. These are very important 5 questions from module 1. Coming to module 2, module 2 is combinational logic and sequential logic. As I said difference between these two is very very important that question may be asked and coming to add us this um, module is full of combinational and sequential logic and adders, multiplexers, encoders or decoders are very important. So full adder and using full adder the design of ripple carry adder or carry look ahead adder and full adder full subtractor questions also may be asked. And explain or design MUX, encoder, decoder, priority encoder is very very important question. Uh, you may be asked to write the priority encoder truth table and also the circuit for that and the expression. This is very important. And implementation of given function using decoder and MUX is also very important. One question you can expect that easily. And explain SR, JK, flip flop and write the Verilog code may be asked or to write the characteristic equation of the JK, SR, flip flops and how that will be used to store the uh, elements can be asked. So one question will be on sequential circuits and one question will be on uh, combinational circuits for sure and with some designs like decoder and MUX implementation will be asked. Coming to module 3, from here onwards computer organization starts. So here the first concept is basic structure of computer. So functional units of a computer may be asked. Addressing modes is very very important. You need to explain these addressing modes with some examples. You need to Remember the examples for these addressing modes and you need to write it clearly how that addressing mode is going to be identified. And explain basic performance equation and spec rating is also very important question. So this question is also asked previously in the computer organization subject you can see. So this is also very important question. And demonstrate branching operations using loop to add n numbers. This is given in the prescribed textbook itself. So this question also an important question. Single bus architecture, instruction execution and sequencing are very important concepts. So you can expect this from module 3. Coming to module 4, it is input and output organization. So explain memory mapped IO and uh, IO interface for an input device with a diagram. Explain DMA with registers and controllers. This is very important. Explain hardware interrupt. Enabling disabling of interrupt is very important. And how to handle the interrupt, interrupt service routine, these questions will be asked. And the different schemes like DC chain, priority scheme are also very important. 
and explain IO operations involving a keyboard and display device with program that reads one line from keyboard and stores it in a buffer, echoes it back to display. This is also given in the prescribed textbook itself. So we can expect these questions since the clear cut answer is given in the textbook itself. Describe the different memory mapping functions can be asked and explain the different bus arbitration approaches centralized and distributed. Coming to module 5, describe how ALU performs, means arithmetic logical unit, how it is going to perform. The, that is the very important question. And pipelining question will be asked for sure. Explain four stage pipelining with diagrams, describe the basic idea of instruction pipeline and how the process of fetching a word from a memory in a processor and explain the pipeline performance of a processor and pipeline stalls. So this stalls also very important and hazards also very important in this uh, module. And coming to some standard question, explain the complete set of operations involved in execution of this instruction along with the control sequence. So the different uh, methods to add for the two register contents are given in the textbook. Uh, these questions are also uh, appeared, few of them are appeared in the model question paper, which I have given in the previous videos, you can refer that. So these are very, very important questions. Other than this, you may get other questions also. So uh, these are very uh, important and you can expect in the examination. Thank you.